one point in your life, you're going to have to stop, stop the madness, and literally stop, pause, put everything on pause. Like right now, in a way, during the pandemic, right now things have loosened up. But earlier, when the whole thing was really heated up, it was kind of like existence put you on pause and you couldn't do anything. You couldn't socialize, travel, have events, go to parties, gatherings, conferences. And you're forced to stay home and bring your attention inwards or put your attention on the news and go crazy. But when your attention goes inwards and you start to look inside and you go deeper and deeper inside yourself, you begin to recognize and realize that you carry the power. The power is here within you. It's already here. The key to the mysteries is within yourself. Pay attention to this. Don't let this sentence to just travel through and without really paying any attention to it. Just listen, see what I'm saying. The key to the mysteries of existence is within you. Nobody else can give it to you. You have to find it inside yourself because you're the one who carries it. It's ingrained within yourself by Her Majesty. Each and every single human being carries that key inside themselves. It's not in Egypt. It's not in Sedona. It's not in another land. It's not in another planet. It's here inside yourself. But in order to get to it, you have to go beyond the thinking mind. You have to bypass the thinking mind. It's a journey from the head to the heart. You sink inside to your heart means you become quiet, you practice being quiet, and you sink in. As you sink in, the heart opens, love begins to flow, and the power of the Creator begins to reveal itself from within you. You become the beacon of light. And the mystery begin to reveal itself to you. You begin to understand. And you begin to see how beautiful you are. This is beyond physical appearance. This is a different kind of beauty. This is a light that shines from within your heart. But it's not a mental understanding, it's an intellectual understanding. Because intellectually, when you say this to yourself, then the mind comes and says, oh, bad, look at me, I'm needy, I'm da 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 da, I'm old, I'm sick. That's not it. This is a light that shines through you. You discover it. You recognize it. You sit with it. You settle into it. You relax into it. It takes time for it to reveal itself. You have to be patient and stick to your practice can't just jump from this branch to another branch to another branch. That's not going to take you anywhere. Whatever 
school of spirituality you're gravitated to, stick to it until it's over. When it's over, then you move on. But jumping from one thing to another constantly, okay, I'm going to be doing some practice on, um, I don't know, New Zealand shamanisms with Maui's, and I'm going to be doing this with Hawaiian, da, 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 and I'm going to do this American, Native American, and then I'm going to work with Zarathustra, and then I'm going to take a course from Tony Robbins. It's cool, but it's too much. Too many different things to do. So it gets you engaged in the mental activity. What I'm referring to is to disengage yourself from a mental activity. To sink inside yourself. By disengaging. Not getting engaged, disengaging. So you can sink inside yourself. And that's where it gives you the key to unlock the heart. And the heart opens and the love reveals itself. You begin to feel joyful every day. And you get to see the magic of life. You get to see the flow. How things flowing. How things are being presented to you. How what you need comes to you. Effortlessly. You're not really trying to make it happen. It will just come to you. So everything starts to flow. You become the flow of life. But you got to be patient. But it's happening. You're on the right track. 